Hi guys, Sean81 here and welcome to a speed build. So today we are doing a challenge. This is the Get Fit Challenge by Fire Hero. And the challenge was to create a gym and you had four options to basically choose from. And the one I ended up with is the uh what was that? The I just need to pull it up here, I didn't have it open, which I should have. It is the um, Average Joe's was my uh, one that I got and let me just read out some of the challenge rules for you. Oop, not in there. Alright, so it says, let's face it, you'll see me ignore the scales the past few months. Being the holidays and all, they completely went ham on the turkey and, well, the ham. This will be the year that change is made. This is the year that they swap out the grilled cheese for the caprice salad and sign up for Willow Creek's new gym. You are tasked with building up a gym, fit for any sim to whip themselves back into their prime. So the rules, choose a theme below by rolling a dice, having the community vote, etc. So just a, a random sort of system. Build your gym on a 30 by 20 or a 40 by 30 lot. You have an unlimited bad budget. Uh, you can use any packs but no custom content. Upload to the gallery, uh, do a speed build on YouTube or very detailed screenshots on Imager if you're on a console. So a console option there too which is fantastic. And make sure you tag the build with the hashtag get fit with a ph. The theme, so Average Joe's is this one I got and it is this gym doesn't have the fanciest equipment and could probably use a paint job or a full bleach bath if I'm being honest but it gets the job done so that is what I got but as you'll see I'm creating a fairly modern sort of gym looking thing um, yeah so weird things happen there um, with the walls they wanted to go up a level but um, yeah I sort of started creating this gym and I sort of I used a bit of a reference photo just to just for help me get started um, and it turned out quite a nice looking gym so I was like oh what do we do with it and you'll see that all of a sudden it changes but um, at the moment we're just sort of creating the shape and it, um, they're just trying to find windows that would work and I think this is where I sort of start to look for more um, the dingy looking things I guess is the word I want after so uh, you can see I use those um, really skinny windows from the, I believe it's the, uh, what's it, the Get, Get Fit Pack, I think it is, <laughs> the, the fitness, the fitness um, stuff pack, yeah, fitness stuff pack, I think it is, and um, they, I think that's the tallest wall height, so, but they have this sort of brown little option with, they had like the upper and the very small lower part of the window is sort of this brown colour. And the glass in the door, I used a brown tone too. Um, so I started to colour up the build and I used these really nice bricks and things like that. You know, and it starts to look quite like a fancy bit of a gym. Which I think, you know, it's great. I mean, you could you could download this and fully, you know, make it into a fancy looking gym if you really wanted to. Um, it actually has the potential to, to, you know, go either way. So you could like, you know change it up with these cool textures that I'm using here now or you could um, go with the ones I actually do go with um, and make it more of a dingy looking rundown place so which is kind of kind of fun you know I love that you know just changing out a few things you're really changing the look of your build um, even though the structure is the same just by changing that what you're using to surface the type of structure it, um, really changes the look of the build and I just wanted to get this just I just wanted to basically cover up that little overhang there um, but because it um, even holding shift you only you'll go um, on the trim will go on the front side of the build um, it wouldn't just do that little space so what I did was use the little really low fence and just divided that into room sections perfectly hidden and then it will just put the trim on just where I want it so it's a little trick that I learnt to just get the trim where you want it to go um, 
it only uh, only works if you can hide that fencing so if you if you can't hide it it's probably not the best although I do use it around the back as well and it's not overly hidden um, but it doesn't make much of a difference as to where I put it so uh, just having a look here at the internals now trying to work out what to do I uh, decided to sort of make um, that sort of a bit bigger there bring that out I lift those those up and then I drop them back down <laughs> as you saw um, try these couple of open doorways trying to make uh, sort of section off rooms and things inside working out where to put stairs and things uh, yeah trying to put in change rooms locker rooms all that all that jazz and it is a two-story building as you can see the lower lower half is uh, on the short wall height though um, just trying to fix up building sort of shape there as well and I really like I really like the look of it. It looks quite nice in the more modern sort of gym. It, it kind of works, but um, you'll notice that I do change it in the end. Although here I'm working on the backyard, back backyard. Yeah, I guess it's a backyard, back courtyard. I guess it is. And I want to put a full size basketball court in, so which is pretty much the entire space there. But uh, I managed to get it in there, and I want to fence it off as well, so could only be accessed through the gym you can't access it off the street or anything like that so um, and I tried the, the floorboards that I basketball labeled as basketball court flooring um, but I figured outside probably not the best option so I go with more of a I think it's more of a cement look I go with in the end um, I wanted like an asphalt look but it'd be hard to find that sort of look and come out as looking more like cement than anything and so I wanted a an office. That was one of the things I wanted to include. And I'm just trying to find the right sort of door for the office. Um, I like that full sort of one. I actually managed to delete the room then. I was meant to delete the door and deleted the room. And now I'm trying to find a door for the uh, into the change rooms. And I go with just the standard, you know bathroom door there and just adding that cement look all around uh, in the backyard instead of just on the basketball court and I realized those windows were up are just a little bit too high they sort of clipped out a bit so I'd lower them down and I look at using those fancy windows but they would yeah I, at this stage I don't know what I'm doing still and I'm like going why why am I trying to make it fancy I don't understand um, and just putting in some shelving for a bit of an entrance sort of a reception area where, you, where you'd come in and sign up to the gym and this all changes so so drastically actually in the end um, but like it wasn't until like sort of halfway through that I sort of remembered my vision for the gym and because I sort of I knew what I wanted to include and there was this one item in particular that I wanted to put in that I'd forgotten that I was going to do and so yeah I sort of started and then sort of moved away from my vision so I had to sort of dial it back a bit in the end uh, but most of the most of it stays you know, fairly fairly similar so just trying to get some gym equipment in this space here to try and sort it out and in most of that in there. I'm trying to decide what to do with that little space. It's sort of a weird cut out area, but not. yeah. I mean, the gym of equipment fits down there pretty well, but it doesn't stay down there. Not all of it, anyway. Because I decided that I wanted to change it. And I was just trying to go with the. Because it has to be. The, I think it's the most. Yeah, not the fanciest equipment, so. I want it to be the low budget stuff, although I do put a climbing wall in, so just for for one random thing, although at the moment I've got two, but I don't only end up using one. I use something else outside, which is a little bit, a little bit unusual for skill building, I guess. Um, not It doesn't build your fitness skill, I'm pretty sure it doesn't anyway, I don't know what skill it builds actually. It may do, maybe fitness, I'm not sure, but it's an, it's an unusual one, um, I figured it was something a little bit different. I hate that because this is where I use that same trick with the getting the um, 
the edging on this roof part and so I section it off and it just goes and deletes the half wall colour on everything. It's like, oh, I just changed one little thing and you go and deleted all of that on me. It's just such a nuisance. I don't know why it does it. It is really painful. So then you've got to go through and paint it all. And if you're doing a big space, like I've done some houses that have done it and I want to change one little thing and it's just gone and, you know, taken it all away. And I was just like, why? So this is probably where I'm looking at it going, what am I doing? But, oh no, that's right, I just had to add the bathroom in. And I've got this pre-saved bathroom that I've, I've created myself. Um, just saves me a bit of time, it's really good for public lots. It's sort of pretty basic, sort of public lot looking bathroom. <laughs> and I just I just use it when I need, need to get in the toilet and bathroom and stuff. It's just handy to have pre-made and saved. Um, I do that with a few rooms as well. I have a few rooms that I have pre-made and saved like that, just to save a little bit of time. So, and just trying to sort out the layout as well. And I want blockers in here. I'm just trying to fit them in. Uh, that one stuck through the wall, so I try. I just use the double blockers. So I have those in there as well. And I'm trying to work out what to do with that door. It just doesn't match anything. But it was sort of the door that I wanted to use there. I don't know why. Could have just used the same one at the front. But I wanted to use something different at the back. For some reason. And what am I doing? Oh, this is the office. So it's only a little 2x... I don't know, what is it? 2x1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6? 2x6 or something? It's room. It's, it's pretty squishy. So... But I knew what I wanted to do with it. So I wanted to use those all those filing cabinets and things and a bit of a scungy looking desk. Um, oh, this is where I'm adding the lot traits as well. So this is where I sort of remembered that it should be more um, gr on the grungy side. So I used those windows as sort of like a frosted look. that kind of looked like they were a bit dirty. And then the interior tiles. Now I kind of go with the grungy lino or linoleum whatever you say it. We call it lino in Australia. We shorten everything, so that's what I've grown up calling it. It's yeah, easier to say. <laughs> and yeah, upstairs I decided I want to have it so you look down into the gym space. I thought that was a bit fun. So it looked like a little loft. Um, and what else do I decide to do? Oh yeah, I wanted to put a... Oh no, this is where I found that fun little item that is another little exercise sort of item. Um, yeah, I thought I could use a sauna as well in here. So I grabbed this, the cheaper sauna. I think it's cheaper. I don't know whether they might be the same, same price. Oh yeah, I was trying to get this to cut out because I was like, oh, I could put the, put the stairs there and have the entrance to the sauna off the stairs like that but getting it to not cut away the piece I wanted I had to actually use like little fence pieces like that I've used there and then I sort of make it a bit space a bit bigger so it sort of cut away a bit more and yeah so I put in a little sauna I started to use the really fancy door I was like no <laughs> that would not have a fancy door in it at all but um so I just put a you know, standard door and then I've got that little space there I grab the grab the toilets and just pop them in there too although they do end up being showers at blocks as well it um, ends up being two shower blocks instead of the four toilets just because I figured it needed probably more showers and so I'm looking at it still going what am I doing oh, here I decided to move the gym equipment upstairs uh, I'll try and put it all up there but it doesn't quite work um, the boxing um, the boxing things don't work there for me. Um, so yeah, this is where I realised that I wanted to, this particular thing I wanted to put in, I couldn't quite uh, sort of get it to work. So I'm, what I'm trying to do at the moment is see whether I can get this little square to be raised up and then within the build it's on its own. But I realised I actually have to raise up the entire foundation and then cut away the foundation. So I do the I do the trick where you cut away the foundation um, and quickly go and you know, make it all flat and neat and tidy in there. Put 
yeah, colours. And then I realised I need to put stairs everywhere, so I've got to have stairs on everything, all sort of entryways and things. And just use a bit of uh, flooring as well to sort of bring it up a bit. Um, I use that little space that I created outside just to um, keep copies of things that I'm going to place around everywhere. Like the one by one square of flooring because there isn't actually one anywhere. Um, yeah, I have to lower everything down because everything wanted to float because I had move objects on so everything was floating for a bit. Um, so I haven't put down on any flooring yet, that's still grass down there. But this is this is what I want to create. So this little square here, I put uh, what are they fences? No, not fences. Stairs all around, but it doesn't doesn't quite fit um, in the space uh, because I realise I need I need to use sort of a little uh, like one block extra around it just to get the sh shaping right. Um, and so then I'm changing up my fencing. And this fencing from Get Famous is the one that I use because I'm making a boxing ring if you haven't already guessed. So I jumped for a little bit there, just um, it took me a little while to sort of work out what I was trying to do and how to do it. And I just wanted to paint the flooring sort of in the two tone colours to make it more of a sort of ring. Um, I put the little diagonal ropes on there. A lot of gym, a lot of boxing rings have that. Um, but I end up removing them in the end. Um, my husband had a look at it and he goes, no, take those away. It doesn't quite work because you don't have the right, quite the right uh, fencing for it. So um, I did take them away in the end. So it's just a square ring without those little extra corner pieces. Um, but it, it works. And I was quite happy with how it turned out. It looks really cool. Once I, once I go in and... Um, at all the little decorations which I don't include in the footage here but you'll see them in the screenshots. Um, I, I've just been sticking to doing the major furniture, furniture in my builds and then the little knickknacks and clutter items I do off screen and you just see them in the screenshots. It's because it takes me so long to add them and it's a lot of editing and cutting down and speeding up and things that I have to do to my footage and I find it's just a bit boring. <laughs> so watching someone just place all these little clutter items and it's just like no, I can I could do without that being in there. So I take it out. Um, it's just easier for me not to record it. it. Also clogs up my hard drive with a lot of extra footage. <laughs> um, so I moved the boxing bags down into a little training area beside the the boxing ring. And yeah, it's just it's starting to turn out pretty cute. I think it's. I was hoping I could get um, a sort of a gate in there of some sort that would allow them access into there, but there's only no need for them to actually go in there. Uh, it's, clearly it's, it's blocked off. No sim can actually access it completely. So it's just it's simply for looks, just to give you that sort of feel that there is something there. And I was really struggling with this space because I'd cut all the flooring out. I actually thought, you know, maybe I could actually bring out all the flooring completely into that space and then have a step down into the boxing room. <laughs> I don't know why I hadn't thought of it. I just sort of ended up creating this really odd space for quite a while. Mm -hmm. And then I kind of sort of sat back and took another look at it and went, uh, yeah, why don't I just drag all that out and have that floor just step down into the boxing area. Like, that would make more sense. So, yeah, I was really struggling with going to get this to work here and, oh, I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> I wasn't thinking clearly, 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 yeah, clearly, clearly, clearly. Um, and then I decided, oh, maybe I'll move the um, desk, but then it's like, but I want that to be at the entrance, and uh, it's just, it's nightmarish in the end. I don't know, I end up in, yeah, doing weird things. And because it needs so many different steps in different places, it's like, no, it doesn't want to do that. Oh, this is where I start to use some of the, the daggier papers, or the, the more the more older, grungier looking paper. Oh, this is what look, I remembered. I was like, yeah, maybe I could just do it this way. And I just cut it back one by one. And then add the stairs in. And that works! Amazing! <laughs> I don't know what I was doing before. Um, 
So then I fix up all the tiles and things. I think I'm done with that. So I put the basketball court back. <laughs> and then, let's see, I've got a little horseshoe throwing space. I figured that was something a bit different that, uh, and sort of a different way for the Sims to get a bit of a workout. I figured that's something uh, slightly different. <laughs> Unconventional means for. This is where I look at these. Now, I don't know anyone anyone else has noticed, but these um, brick patterns, and here I'm just adding regular brick patterns, but the brick patterns in particular from Dine Out, there are two of them, they shrink. So you go up a floor and they shrink. So I'm just, I was just grabbing a screenshot so I could send it off to the devs, which I still haven't done. But um, yeah, I was like, I'm just playing around with a few different bricks there, and I'm like looking at it, I'm like, no, it shrinks. The different wall heights, they definitely shrink. So I was like, oh, okay. I actually do end up using them though. I just sort of go, uh, whatever. <laughs> I want to use them. They're, they're the ones I want to use, so I, I do use them. But um, yeah, I just have to deal with the shrinkage, I think. Yeah, you know, as most blokes have to deal with when they hop in a cold water. Um, you have to deal with the shrinkage. Anyway, that was really not appropriate. Um, yeah. So I use this grungy wall, and this is, I think it's base. Is it base game? Uh, I'm using black at the moment, but um, a fairly dark sort of brick that one is. But I think, what is it? No, yeah, it's that white, mostly white wall there. I think is base game. It's sort of like a coated brick, um, or was it? Might, might even be city living. I can't remember. But it doesn't shrink, which is good. <laughs> Although I don't remember it staying quite that. I think it changes a bit. Oh yeah, put some dirt under that just to make it more, yeah, I don't know, more something. And I want to change the basketball court colours a bit to make it look like it is some, like an asphalt or something. I even try lino, I don't know why. I try anything. I try lots of different, lots and lots and lots of different things. I do go with, I think I stick with the red though. And then the off, the light pink sort of uh, D or whatever it's called. K, D, I don't know. Uh, trying a different brick again. Instead of black, I use a grey. Try that. I think that's that nine out one again. Yeah, so that's the dine out brick that I'm using in there. So that does have that shrinkage in it, which is. It's okay. I'm switching all the black to grey instead. Just to. So it wasn't as. You know, stuck in, you know, it wasn't, uh, it, it looked too fresh and new and I wanted it to look a bit more dull and warm so that's why I went with the grey. Um, oh yeah, I was trying to raise the garden bed up a bit. Um, it doesn't quite work. For some reason I think this lot's a bit wonky, it's one of the, one of the wonky sort of looking ones. Uh, oh yeah, adding, trying to add in a wall without it making a room, but for some reason, as soon as I moved it within that space, it wanted to, uh, I wanted to make it part of, make it to a room, no matter how I did it. So I think I do make it into, yeah, I even try doing it different ways. It doesn't work. Um, but that's okay, we'll, I just make it like that, and just put the bush up on top of it. And it doesn't look too bad. Because I wanted to have it so close to the window, I wanted to float. Um, so I just must stick something under it, if it makes sense. I'm switching the bricks again, just because they weren't quite right. And just chucking some sort of weedy looking plants down. I think I'd turn some of them around because I hope I do. They all look like they're facing the same way. Oh, yeah, just trying different wall options to see what I could on the front. I was trying to find something. Oh, <laughs> I was making about that one. I would want to do a build with that at some stage. But, um, I was trying to think, you know, if it's a rundown building, you know, maybe it was something else or something like that beforehand. Oh, no, this is where I find something like cool stuff. So, um, the garage doors, I think, are an awesome added bonus. Oh, and all these like pipes and grungy bits and pieces are awesome so I use like some of the pipes and ducting and things like that um, an old s billboard sign on the edge um, oh yeah these 
um, girder things, you know, wall bracings. I do use these, but not on that wall. I actually, actually move them. And it's perfect because, you know, it just it looks really good. It really makes it look like a gym, actually, in the end, I think. Like one of those old sort of gymnasium gyms. And the towel rails, I want to chuck some of those down there as well. Yeah, I use them on that wall there. And because I decide I need to have the gym doors, not the gym doors, garage doors on the inside. So, um, I basically got this idea from a gym that is literally just up the road from me. And it's a, it has a boxing ring in it and it has big garage doors that you open up to let air flow in. Um, I don't think it has an air conditioning or anything like that in it which is surprising for where I live but um, it um, yeah they use like big garage doors and big fans and things inside it um, and yeah they open them up to let air flow so I thought that's sort of what I wanted and you know on the outside I wanted to use those sort of graffitied ones um, your sims could even go and paint on them if they really wanted to and I just sort of yeah thought it really really cool and I'm just trying to find some tiles now for the bathroom I just don't want to I want it to be sort of the sort of brownie cut tones and things, you know, a bit dull and not looking the cleanest and things. And I think I have a lot of fun with a lot of uh, sort of bits and pieces um, inside. I use it, I yeah, drive the same tiles into the sauna as well. Um, yeah, so I think what was it with? Um, in one of the packs, I can't remember which one, there's like wall stains and cracks and things and I go uh, and cobwebs and stuff and I go a bit silly with them because it really adds to that grungy feel so you'll see those in the screenshots and I think I think it turned out pretty cool actually. It's like as I've said um, on some of my social media that this has definitely been one of my favourite builds to do. Um, it's different, fun, you know, you really sort of go crazy with like making things look worn down and yeah and I love where I put some of the cobwebs and things and fans yeah I decided to chuck in lots of fans as well so um, only one downstairs in that space um, because there was just you know obviously no roofing above it but I do put a couple upstairs um, in the gym area and some mirrors on the walls of course to have your mirrors even though like I could have done a whole wall there with mirror I don't decided I didn't want to do that much mirroring if that makes sense um, so just a few and I'm just tucking little those little spotlights um, in under the fans just to give light from them which I think would have been really cool if they did actually come with a light option as well and Oh yeah, I found that the broom would fit really nicely up in that little space that I had between the filing cabinets. And it's popping lighting around as well. So I don't have very big lighting in the um, sauna. Quite dull lighting. But it gives that sort of real grungy look to feel to it as well, which I think is really awesome. And we're going into the screenshots now. And so this is the, what the front of the building So this is what the place looks like from the front. They've chosen some little uh, signs and things to put around and then at the side we've got some graffiti on the wall and some pipes and things and on this side obviously the garage doors have graffiti on them as well and then this is the little reception area and you can buy your protein powders, you can purchase books and magazines, uh, sign up for your class or whatever and you'll see here there's some trophies and things and the trophies actually have cobwebs on them, which I thought was really cute. Um, this is the boxing area, so there's the boxing ring, and then there's your, your training dummies as well. Some seating around, and good coaches stations as well. As um, you've also got your bell, or light sort of bell option as well. Boxing gloves as well, and there's really cute. Um, yeah, the posters and things on the wall, and this is the office. And it is grungy looking office, you know, stains on the walls, uh, paper on the floor, um, lots of gym equipment sort of piled in there, um, bills all over the table, 
know, just it's just a mess. And then we have the bathroom, uh, locker room, sort of shower area. It is grungy, gross. I wouldn't want to use it personally. And then we have outside the, the basketball court and sort of the sort of outdoor equipment that we've got out there. So we've got a little horseshoe throwing space for something different and um, then there's the wall climber as well and then for some reason a dog must have gotten in here because there is a muddy paw prints throughout that room bathroom and then there's just the upstairs sort of area and we have this sauna it is a gross looking thing uh, not something I'd want to use personally it doesn't look like it's been cleaned in a while and this is the upstairs bathroom sort of a shower toilet combo that I've put in and then you have the gym equipment there as well for working out with some motivational posters and things on the walls try and get you you know active and then like you can see straight down where you're working on the treadmills into the boxing ring as well which is cool and then outside we have a little bit of a bar area so you can grab yourself a juice or a protein shake after your workout sit and chat sort of you know have a chat about things and play a bit of foosball but that that is where we're going to leave it now. Don't forget to give me a like if you really enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss out on any future videos that I'll upload. And give me, leave me a comment. That would be really nice. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.